Hello, everybody. Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard U96 as we continue our patrol in U boat. Last episode, we took a look at the TDC mod and made some underwater attacks on some merchant ships. And now we have reached Sector CG, which is our patrol area. As you see, we have to travel 2,500 kilometers inside this area. And I have a rough search pattern set up here. The mission briefing did say that HMS Nelson was operating in the area, and I think our best bet of finding her will be around the mouth of Gibraltar. Maybe even in the port, I don't know. But uh, we'll see, we'll see what we can do. I may probe the port and try to <laughs> and see if she's in there, because I do want to get my uh, hands on a battleship. Anyway, we have something right up ahead currently. We have a visual contact directly ahead, so we're going to plot a course towards that, though, and... That unfortunately destroyed my little search pattern, but I'll redo that. No worries. And we're going to go forward four. And the chase is on. Let's check out the boat. Make sure everything's running at peak efficiency down here. We have some water in the bilge, so I'm going to actually turn on the pump. Compressed air. Everything's okay. Fuel is currently at 89%, so we still have quite a bit of fuel. Oxygen is fine. Discipline is not great. Okay, it's just switched over so it is going up now catching some pretty serious waves here the weather's pretty choppy or wow geez louise okay and see what we have in the bow torpedo room so in the tubes we have two t2 torpedoes and two t1 torpedoes i mixed that up but there you go Radio operator, all right, everything's good. We'll use some time compression and begin to chase down this one visual contact. It says tiny group. If it's a single merchant vessel, I think we'll just use the deck gun. We should make visual soon. Surprised we don't see her yet. There we go, got her. Oh, it's a U-boat. Oh, that's cool, a Type 7C out here. Oh, and with the new patch, you can actually control other U-boats, like so, I do think. You can tell them to attack and uh, things like this, or to run away. We'll tell them to escape and see what he does. They're going to submerge. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So you can kind of uh, organize wolf packs and uh, converge on convoys and stuff like this. That's pretty nifty. Uh, we'll tell him to attack maybe he'll surface the boat he went down deep but he's he's operating down here this is a feature i have not really messed with but that's pretty cool that's pretty cool indeed oh we can see the uh the u-boat down here oh it's deep i don't even know if youtube compression is going to allow us to see this but i don't know how to get this boat to resurface tell it to do nothing maybe Eh, this is something I'll just have to mess with, and maybe this is uh, a good idea for another video. Oh, they're coming up. They're surfacing. Coming up pretty quickly. And also, it, am I crazy, or does this uh, U-boat have a slight list? Do I have a list of starboard? Yeah, I think it does. Interesting. Well, anyway. I just figured, I thought this was, whoa... <laughs> Having issues? Okay. Well, uh, we'll just we'll just leave them be. <laughs> Not sure what's going on there. Obviously, I I messed it up. I think I did something, but it looks like they may have uh some flooding issues. I don't know. Their boat's slowly coming up. Well, we'll continue on our merry way down towards the port of Gibraltar, and we're going to try to track down HMS Nelson. I really have no idea where she will be, so I think it'll just be a matter of luck. Anywho, I'll cut now and get back to you folks soon. Okay, we just received an interesting report of a warship spotted, and I saw an icon pop up out here to the northwest, but I have nothing else, so we'll continue to use some time compression. I will get on the Yuzo, please. What do you see up there? It's kind of concerning. Course off the 
Let's turn towards them. Okay, chimney smoke. This is the general location where the warships were. But it's just a tiny group consisting of one vessel, so maybe not. We'll find out what this is. That was interesting. Okay, this is just a freighter, but you know, one freighter? Let me use the deck gun on it. We have to be wary of any destroyers in the area. I guess we lost sight of it. All right, we're going to get nice and close to this enemy warship or freighter. Excuse me. We're going to use the deck gun and get you on the 88, please. A lot of my men are kind of tired now. Get you on the diesels. Use a little bit of time compression as we close in. I'm not even going to bother to identify this freighter. We're just going to shell it. I do want to check how much ammunition we have, however. Eighteen rounds. That should be enough to uh, send this freighter to the bottom. As long as these guys don't just start opening fire like crazy. Get on the gun, please. Thought I told you to do that already. Come on, Felix. Oh, he's coming down. How far away are we? So uh, two and a half kilometers out. It's a rather clear day, so hopefully no aircraft come and bomb us to smithereens. Some time compression, get nice and close. It's really the best way to do this. Okay, we are probably around 300 meters away. That should be perfect. Have armor piercing rounds 18. Oh. Well, that was a waterline hit. Find this gun sight a little bit easier to use. Another good hit. 14 rounds left. Got to be quick though. Hopefully she doesn't try to ram us. That would be unfortunate. <laughs> Kind of terrifying. If it comes down to it, we can use our flat gun against them as well. We, we shot the flat gun at another merchant ship and it managed to sink it, so... Looks like she's already listing pretty heavily. Might as well just finish her off. She's sinking. Oh, she broke in half. <laughs> Look at the little trucks that fell off. That's kind of cool. Wow. Okay, so we have seven rounds left. Okay, we'll swing our gun, have it facing in the forward position, and uh, leave. You folks get back to sleep. Well, there's another merchant ship sunk. Let's get the hell out of here. Empire Lad. What a name. What a name. And wait, is the ship already under? Yep, the ship's gone. Wow, that was fast. Okay, all ahead standard. Let's just uh, get out of dodge now, especially since there was a warship operating in the area. I'm actually going to submerge the boat now. Let's go down to, oh, I say 30 meters. Everyone get down below. We'll get down to 30 meters, do a hydrophone sweep. You can get on the hydrophones. Hey, okay, everything's looking all right. Let's have a little bit of water in the bilge. Let's pump that out while we can. And let's update our storage. So we're, we'll start transferring stuff, more food stuffs to the galley. We're running a little bit low on food. Food may be our limiting factor here, actually. We may have to return back to base because of a uh, low food supply. All right, let's get this boat under. 
There we go. Decks are awash. And down we go. Switching to electrics. What is that? Oh, I think... I think that's just the lifeboats. Okay, we can just see them. Okay, all ahead, slow. Get one more man on the hydrophone. Help Hans here. Help Hans here. Yes, exactly that. <laughs> okay, propeller noises. One propeller, one tiny group. Okay, good to know. It looks like they're heading northeast. Anything else? Just that. Let's turn and investigate. How's morale? It's doing fine. Oxygen is obviously depleting. Yeah, we can investigate these. I wonder where that warship went. That's super weird. We're going to head towards this propeller noise and maybe do a torpedo attack. What do I have? Make sure my torpedoes are preheated. Oh, okay, he's already he's starting to preheat them. He's preheating tube number five. That's fine. Maybe I could use a stern torpedo tube here. That may work out for us, but we'll slowly close in on her. She's heading straight for us. Okay, I want you to get on the dive planes. And we're going to come up to periscope depth. Okay, go. Get those men unassigned to him. I, I want one assigned to Hans or Osterman. Hans Osterman. Okay, wow, what the heck? Okay, this is another U boat. Jeez Louise. Okay. And we have a transport group right behind us that's been hiding in our baffles, it would seem. Okay, well, we're going to direct this U boat to head this way it's moving no it's just stationary i'm not sure how to get these u-boats to move anyway i guess i won't concern myself with it yeah there's nothing i can really issue an attack order so i have to find okay well we'll figure it out Let's get visual contact on this tiny group. Oh, this is just uh, the transport, the wreckage. Okay, well, this was a massive waste of time, <laughs> I guess. I guess we were picking up their little uh, lifeboats. There's another propeller noise way up north. Okay, well, anyway. I don't know what to do with this Type 7C. Uh, we're going to continue on our merry way and uh, continue patrolling. Okay, we are pretty close to Gibraltar here, and I have propeller noises that are heading actually quite a few contacts, but we have a tiny group of consisting of one to three vessels kind of heading this way, so I think we are going to engage that. I am curious, though, what is the depth? 147 meters. Okay, so it's pretty shallow. All things considered. So this was a little bit risky, especially if there's quite a few escorts around uh, this group. This propeller noise, this thing, whatever this is, it is booking it. Curious what that is. Let's actually get on the hydrophone. Well, you know what, Hans Osterman? You have you have better ears than I. I'll say that. I'll let him track these contacts. Make sure everyone's well rested here. I could probably surface the boat. I am curious what this is. Let's get let's go to periscope depth. Thank you. Let's see if we have visual contact. No, nope, we don't, but let's increase speed. Try to establish visual contact underwater. 
rather not surface if I don't have to. Oh, this thing changed course. This has to be a destroyer or something doing just escorting, just patrolling the, the straight here. Let's slow down. It's getting kind of close. The U boat. <laughs> oh man, they're everywhere. Okay. That's fine. Okay, we got transports. Okay, I told this U boat to attack this freighter. We're going to see what it does. Okay, it's it's doing something. We'll continue heading this way. It looks like just a lone transport. The U-boat is turning around. Maybe it'll make an attack. Although, ooh, we got a tanker here as well. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's see, is it going to launch torpedoes? Oh my, it did. That's awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. Let's see if it actually gets a hit. That's not a bad angle. Uh, it's all right. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. That is pretty cool. I got to admit. You boats getting out of here, getting out of dodge. I can only imagine doing this against a convoy with like 40 ships and you have like, you know, three or four U-boats. That'd be pretty sweet. Looks like this tanker is taking on water. I may finish her off. That's awesome. Oh, whoa, holy. <laughs> How many did it launch? Four? One, two, yeah, it launched all four torpedoes, all four battle torpedoes at this tanker. Well, that's overkill if I've ever seen it, but <laughs> let's take a look. I can't see it. I'm upset. We lost visual, but oh my goodness, it's just getting obliterated That that poor tanker. That is absolutely crazy you madman you 293 yeah that tanker's gone just wiped off the face of the earth okay well we'll get his buddy i guess all i had full or standard Let's try to close this gap we're still actually we're pretty close but she is zigzagging let's bring up our scope uh, I'm going to get someone on the dive plans. Alfred, you go ahead and do that. That was, that's, I have to admit, that's pretty cool. So this enemy vessel is indeed zigzagging. We'll see what we can do. All right. Block on target. There we go. Let's begin the identification process. It's not HMS Nelson, but this is cool. I, I so the middle mouse button actually uh, increases time compression. The right mouse button cycles through your zoom. I, I d had no idea it did that. It's actually really helpful. What type of, I, I know I passed it like an idiot. Empire Bell, recognize. 4,000 tonner. Just a statimeter. Set. I know she's closer than that. She's probably about one kilometer away. We'll get her speed using this tool here. Oh, I guess the TDC mod does have a proper stopwatch as well. I could have gotten speed that way, but I'm not sure if the lengths 
of the ships are accurate in the recognition manual. Apparently, the draft of all the ships is incorrect. Uh, that's why my torpedoes went under. I got a lot of comments saying that, so I'm not sure if anything in the recognition manual is really correct. Stop. Set. Bring it. Speed is eight knots. Okay. Bring up our TDC. Five, six, seven, eight knots. Angle on bow. Um. Oh, yikes. That is a terrible AOB. Slow the boat down. Actually, begin reversing. Getting a little freaking close here. Okay, she's turning back away. We'll set angle on bow at... Well, it looks like it may actually be at 90 when we fire. Something like that. Range... 900 yard, 900 meters, excuse me. We'll be shooting a bow tube. Torpedo speed will be 44 knots. Okay, this is looking good. Impact angle is pretty much at 90. Let's take a look. I just want to be sure everything's right. Okay, we got a fire. All right, tube two is a tube one, seven A. Never mind. We want to shoot tube two. Set it to forty-five knots. Depth is two point five meters. Angle on bow is already pretty extreme. She's zigzagging around. All right, we'll try this. Los. Los. I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Can barely see our torpedo on the map. There it is. It's heading towards the target. Okay. It, it may be a dud. This may be a... Oh, we got it. Okay. <laughs> that was a pretty good hit right down the middle. That was a pretty poor angle. It, it looked like it was, you know, maybe a 50 degree angle. But I'm glad we got a hit and the torpedo didn't just deflect off the hull. With that raging fire, I think that may be enough to put her under. see how she's doing yeah look at that fire Oh, we, well, you will see what happens. Oh, the tanker's still here. I just completely lost it. It's just stationary there. It looks like uh, U-293 is positioning herself for another attack. I guess two of her torpedoes were duds. Not sure what happened. I'm amazed that the ship is still uh, seaworthy. Looks like our friend is just ablaze. Looks like it's sustaining quite a bit of fire damage. We'll lay in wait. And we can actually begin moving forward slow and stalk this target. Yeah, look, she's she's done for. Yeah, look at that fire just spreading. That's it. She's going down. Goodbye, Empire Lucy. One torpedo, one ship. It looks like this tanker still needs some encouragement. I guess I can uh, turn around and finish it off with my six armor-piercing deck gun rounds. That should be more than enough to send her to the bottom. All ahead, one-third, and surface the boat. Oh. I was actually looking to try to find the stopwatch tool. I, I'm not sure where it is. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure why it's not showing up because I would have used the stopwatch to try to establish speed on that target, but oh well, that's fine. 
show off different methods on how to get the target speed. Well, we'll close in on her. We're switching to diesel engines. Perfect. And you can get on the deck gun. As long as you don't start opening fire like crazy. I want to get someone on the radio so we can send this uh, to BDU. There we go. 5,000, uh, I guess, renown. Incoming Empire last. Didn't we already sink the Empire last? Sure, it's just a uh, submarine spotted radio message. Okay, we'll swing our boat around and try to finish off the, the war. Aphrodite. Looks like they've already abandoned ship, but the ship is just sitting there. Empire last. Massive smoke column spotted at probably our location. Interesting. Hopefully the Empire last is not a warship. Because I know what was making that massive smoke column. <laughs> oh, yikes. When was that radio message sent? Uh, it just says June 1st. I don't get a date or a time. So we, we can assume that may be a warship coming towards our location now. Well, I don't want to mess around with that. We're going to get nice and close to this vessel and send her to the bottom. Hit. Yeah, five armor piercing rounds. That should be more than enough. These deck gun rounds are pretty effective. Oh, just took one. And just needed a little bit of encouragement. All right, send that report. I'll take all the credit. <laughs> Even though the other U-boat did a real number on her. All right, and there she goes. Slips beneath the waves. Well, I think it's time to get out of Dodge. Let's head south. We have a few propeller noises off to the east here. I'm not sure if they're heading to or... Yeah, it looks like they're heading to towards us. These could be warships, so I don't want to stick around to really find out. What is the depth here? Uh, can you, my friend, run over here and check? Give me a ping. Also, let's turn on our pump. Oh, here's the stopwatch. Now it's working. I wonder why it wasn't working earlier. I'll keep this up because it is nice to have. 244 meters. Okay, let's turn on our diesel compressor and begin uh, recharging our compressed air. Make sure the rest of the boat is okay. How's morale doing? Pretty good. It's also Hoffman rig for red. It's going to start getting dark here soon. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, and you can go to sleep. We don't need you on the deck gun. I am going to investigate these two ships, however. Let's see what they are. Make sure the crew's okay. Everyone who's getting rest is, needs rest is getting it. You can go to sleep though, and Hoffman's going to take over the diesel engines. Perfect. And Watcher is now creating our torpedoes. Okay, we've run into quite a storm here, it would seem. Just heard that lightning. Yeah, look, it's starting to rain out here. The environmental graphics in this game are very impressive. It just looks really good. Okay, we have a visual contact, though, apparently. I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's this one. Let's just take a quick look. Not seeing anything out there. I was off our port bow, so... 
Yeah, nada. Uh, what's this little green thing? Oh, just patrol sector CG. That's all that's telling us to do. I don't know if we'll be able to track down HMS Nelson this time. Not sure where she will be based, but we'll investigate these two tiny contacts up ahead. I'm just going to do a quick sweep to make sure nothing, uh, nothing out there. Okay. We'll turn north all ahead full. Looks like these two vessels are following the coastline that you boat is coming back around. I don't know what it's up to. We are close. Okay. Another U-boat. Okay. That's what that is. Well, that's not what I was expecting. Let's see. Is this another U-boat as well? We have quite the wolf pack operating in this area, huh? They're pretty dangerous waters to be in. Let's see. Yep, two U-boats. Okay. Looks like they're operating together. So we have three U-boats in the area. That's that's quite a lot. <laughs> Pretty cool, though, to, uh, that you can actually organize wolf packs and stuff. Well, I think I'm going to see. I think I'm going to just hop into Gibraltar, take a look, see if Nelson's there. Hopefully she is. And if she's not, I'll probably end the video. But we'll just take a look. Okay, we have a contrail coming straight for us, so we are going to submerge the boat. Let's actually crash dive to 30 meters, though. I'm not sure how deep it is here. We've managed to remain undetected as we move through the Strait of Gibraltar, so it was only a matter of time before we would be forced to dive. Let's go ahead and get the boat under. Okay, and we are under, down to 30 meters. Looks like the aircraft is still coming towards this area. Slow down, all head slow. Let's get you on the hydrofoam. Listen, hopefully they did not spot us. Ooh, okay. They didn't, they're just flying away. That's good to know. Okay, close call. Well, we will continue sailing. I'm gonna try to infiltrate Gibraltar here and see if Nelson's in here. Well, Gibraltar was pretty lightly defended and we have made it all the way into the harbor itself. As you can see, we have a V-class destroyer sitting here. I'm probably gonna just torpedo that to get it out of the way. So that way we can't really be hunted. There are some aircraft buzzing overhead, but we've lost them uh, for the time being. There is a tanker here as well, but that's going to be a tough target. And there's, let's keep getting a little closer. Here we go. Looks like there's a cargo ship right here. That's at a pretty good angle. I'm going to try to sink them in port. It's broad daylight. So this is pretty risky, but what the hell? Let's, let's do it. <laughs> Up scope. What's my depth? Meters come up to periscope. I don't know why my periscope's not, uh. There we go. Interest. Oh, okay. I was just looking at the sky. All right, here's Gibraltar. Where's that V class? There's a freighter. Just the oiler. Oh, there she is. Pretty camouflaged. It told me it was a V-class already. Yep. Recognize. Is there something else right behind it? I think there's something on the other side of this, uh, this dock here.
Yeah, look, it looks like there may be another destroyer on the other side there. Well, I can't torpedo that one, but I can torpedo this one. So, let's see. V-Class destroyer. Let's bring up the TDC. Angle on bow, pretty much 90 degrees. Speed is obviously zero. And uh, range will do 1.5 kilometers. Do a bow torpedo. We'll launch a T1 torpedo, so speed will be... It's 24 knots, right? Bring this up. T2 oh, torpedo speed is 30 knots. Go. Yep. Speed 30 knots. Draft or depth will be one meter. Oh, Alright, tube one is flooded. This should be all we really need here. It should be fine. Alright, tube one. Look. Okay. Unlock. Go uh, freighter. I'm not too concerned about what it is. We'll, we, we will shoot tubes three and four. Everything should have automatically updated here. Okay. Dispersion zero, speed 30 knots, depth one meter. Looks good. Los. Los! All right, and torpedoes heading straight for that V-class destroyer. Well, we got a hit here. Looks like these torpedoes are heading towards that freighter and fairly well. That looks good. Let's get the hell out of here <laughs> before they retaliate. It's like that aircraft flying up overhead. That's a little concerning. What are you? Oh, looks like a Sunderland. Okay, what was that? Down periscope. I think something just shot at us. Well, this V-Class of Destroyer is about to get it. Just aft, which is not ideal, but there we go. Torpedo impact. Okay, we got to get the heck out of Dodge. Let's turn around. Hopefully that's enough to sink her. Hope it is. What the hell is shooting at us? How are they seeing us? Okay, okay. You got to get off the periscope, my friend. Just don't even touch it. Get that thing under. Let's start moving a little bit. Move with the purpose. And drop down to, oh, let's say 14 meters. Looks like the torpedoes are still running towards the target. These look a little better. It's a miss. We didn't miss anything. Did they run out of steam? No, they're still running towards the target. Here we go. Moment of truth. There we go. Another hit. Perfect. The V-Class Destroyer has been sunk. She is now sitting happily at the bottom of the dock. And I have a feeling this uh, merchant ship will be going down here soon, too. Hey, well, that was... That was something. <laughs> Empire Lady. I don't see that. We got to get the heck out of here, though. They're apparently shooting at our general location. Let's see. Oh, that freighter's done for. No way this thing's... Yeah, that, that thing's toast. A little burnt. And see the hit points here just rapidly depleting. Okay, well that was fun. That was something different. I don't know what they're shooting at anymore. I am worried about this destroyer that was on the other side here being mobilized. Okay, ship sinking. Empire Lady is sunk. And that thing is just engulfed in flames from bow to stern.
Okay, now we just got to get out of here alive. There weren't any escorts, as far as I know, patrolling the mouth of the harbor, so... And just, uh, take a nice stroll out. Hey, <laughs> we stuck a destroyer, though. That was pretty cool. Unfortunately, Nelson was not here, but... We'll take what we can get here. Goodbye, Empire Lady. Oh, I've broken two. Okay, well, now it's time for our escape. I'm going to slowly crawl out of here and keep you folks updated if we encounter any enemy warships that are going to try to depth charge us. I'm actually curious what the depth is in this area. So, let's check. I, I heck, hello. We have a little bit of water in the bilge as well. 105 meters in the area. Okay. Have some water in the bilge. May need to pump that out here momentarily. I don't think it's anything too bad. So we'll just remain quiet. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing too extreme. So we'll just avoid using the pumps for the time being as we try to get out of here. And, uh... Well, yeah, I'll cut now and keep you folks updated. Well, we are coming up to periscope depth. It looks like there's still an airplane around. There were quite a few of them buzzing us, but I think we're going to be able to get out of here scot-free. That was surprisingly, uh, surprisingly easy. Yeah, I think we are good to surface the boat. Let's go ahead and surface. All ahead full. Let's get the heck out of here. I want to shoot off these radio messages as well to BDU. Hey, low air reserves. Yeah, we have some management to do here. Okay, first and foremost, let's turn on the diesel compressor. Secondly, let's turn on our pump and turn back on our gyro compass. I was remaining silent. I did not want to be detected by any escorts of, that were out and about, but I did not hear anything, so. Um, everyone else is okay. Get these fellas to sleep. Okay, not too bad. We're just going to run out of here. We are getting very close to finishing our objective here, traveling 2,500 kilometers inside the marked area. Oh, jeez, Louise. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Okay. All ahead, flank. Uh, someone get on the flat gun. Run, run, run. Get up there and get on the gun. What a way to end the episode. If we die like this, it's probably going to drop its bombs all over us. Uh, feel free to fire at will. Whenever you feel like it, don't be shy. Okay, it's probably out of his firing arc at the moment. Okay, he's shooting. He's using the gun. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay, it's another Sunderland. Oh, he's getting hit. Hard to starboard. Oh, he's getting it. Oh, please, please finish it off. Oh, he shot it down. That is awesome. <laughs> Adios. Oh. What a, what a, what a episode. Oh, it's just going to float here. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it would do that after violently smashing into the, uh, the ocean here, but you know what? I'll take it. Who did that? Hagenau? Kloss? You, my friend, you're getting, you're getting all the medals when we get back. You just saved our lives. Okay, we're going to keep running out of here at flank speed. Um... Yeah, but it's it's time to go. <laughs>
Well, we have made it out of Gibraltar, thankfully, and we are still alive. After we got buzzed by that aircraft, we had a few another aircraft fly overhead, uh, but we submerged to avoid that one, so we're all hunky-dory. Uh, we are very close to finishing our objective as well. Travel 2,500 kilometers inside the marked area, so we are almost done. We will continue our search for HMS Nelson in this grid, and hopefully we'll be able to come across her in the next episode, but... I'm not sure how likely that is, and I'm not sure what the chances of, you know, her spawning and things like this actually are, but we shall see. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this U-Boat video. Thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.